man, will I ever stop raining outside? Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. It's like, it rains here just about every other day, or almost like a few days in a row. Yesterday was like the only day, besides yesterday and Sunday, it was like the only days that we've had nice weather, actually. Well, what's going on, everybody? Frankie Slauson here. Uh, day number, what day are we on now? Day number 17 already. Man, I can't believe it. And tomorrow, tomorrow's a big day. And you'll see, I'm going to try to get footage anyway from, from tomorrow's day. Of the, uh, well, it's the day that my brother's girlfriend has their baby. And we're, you know, we're all excited. All of us in the Slauson family are excited. I'm excited because it being an uncle for the very first time. She, Jen just had her doctor's appointment, which is the name of Arthur's girlfriend, had her doctor's appointment here yesterday, and it turns out everything's all good. Baby's healthy, fully grown, just waiting to be hatched. Uh, she's going to have it uh, to a C-section, and uh, which I don't really recommend as far as, I don't like, I would like it cut open if I was her, but I guess she, she doesn't want to be induced for labor because, you know, as all women know, you know, one thing us guys don't know is how painful labor can be. And I don't know if I have any female, female watchers or not, but I'm sure you, you females go through that with all the crap that you have to go through, you know, with uh, what breast, possible for breast cancer, uh, your monthlies, you know, what is it called, monthlies. Don't need to describe what that is. Uh, and just everything else, you know. I mean, you guys go through a lot more than us guys will ever go through. And labor, being a labor, I'm sure it's like trying to squeeze a watermelon out of your hoo-hoo, you know? If that's a good way to... <laughs> if that's a good way to put it, I guess, you know? Anyway, so we got that going on tomorrow, and it's my dad's 50, 59th birthday. And, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going on this weekend. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting weekend. We've got to get a lot of footage, I guarantee that, for each day. But, today's my last day of work for the week, and originally, I had planned to do a, uh, kind of like how I did yesterday, and yesterday's vlogs, or yesterday's vlog, anyway, with the tribute to Mad Magazine, well, I was going to do a tribute to, you know, like, Crack Magazine, but unfortunately, not that I didn't have enough time, because I had plenty of time, but I couldn't find Diddly Squat on I had hardly any images or covers or whatnot for Cracked. I did find their website, but they're all, they've redone everything. It's not, they don't really go by Sylvester P. Smith no more, as far as their mascot. They, the Crack Magazine is way different than it was back in the day, when it, you know, was really popular and all that stuff. So I couldn't find anything on it, and I'm really sorry. I really want, I really thought I could find something on Crack. Kind of like how, Mad Magazine's easy to find because Mad's still around. Mad will always be, in my opinion, more popular than Cracked. Although Cracked, you know, kind of had the same genre as far as, or the same feel as far as parodies, but Mad was, I think, the the best one, you know. But of course, then, uh, you know, uh, Cracked would also have their summer, well, they'd have their summer, like, monster party magazines, issues, and all that stuff, and movie blockbuster stuff, and, you know, I mean, they, they've had a lot of good themes, just like, uh, just a train going by. They've had a lot of good teams, just like, uh, you know, Mad Magazine, but they're kind of uh, almost uh, secondary compared to Mad. So, but I couldn't find anything, and I was trying to figure out, well, what the hell can I do for a video if I can't find anything for today, rather than just ramble, uh, you know. And I thought about this, and, I, and, and this was actually something that I wanted to do for a while, since I knew that I was going to start doing the daily vlogs. If you'll notice now, once in a while, I'm going to, if I'm going to be in the vehicle talking, especially on my days when I work or whatnot, let alone my days off, we're going to talk about some stuff. We're going to go in-depth in history a little bit uh, on various topics, uh, whether it be music, entertainment, favorite actors, favorite comedians, actresses, whatever. We're going to go through all that stuff, and I guarantee, I guarantee it'll be a lot of fun. But, uh, so I figure, well, what could I do uh, if I could talk about Crack Magazine, because I couldn't find much of information about it. Well, I decided I do have a friend. Well, I have many friends, but I do have a friend who is a blues musician, and his name is Bobby Hooley, and he actually, if you go to, I'll put the link down 
down below. If you go to myspace.com slash littlebobbyblues or even Adam has a friend on Facebook, Little Bobby. He's a friend of mine who's been a blues musician, let alone a really good musician of all the genres for a long, long time. But he's stuck with blues. He's, he loves the blues. And he goes by Little Bobby in the Storm. And he's, uh, his music to me, the fact, well, just the fact that I have a friend that's a musician is, to me, is probably the coolest thing possible. And, <laughs> that hurts somebody hunk. And I, I just think it's very, very exciting that I have a friend that's uh, in the arts like that. And what I'm going to show you right now is a couple songs from his DVD called Little Bobby the Storm at uh, Live at the Empire Arts Center in Grand Forks, North Dakota, for any of you who know where, or who ever heard of Grand Forks, North Dakota. Uh, well, I live about 45 miles away from there. Anyway, uh, that will be today's video. Uh, if you guys want any information on Bob, actually, if you add him as a friend, I think uh, he actually uh, can give you information if you really like his music at all, or he does have CDs out. I, you know, and he does play for, you know, concerts and various festivals all over North America. He wasn't just, he started out in Thief Ever, but he grew. He grew into something bigger than that. And he's played with, he's played with uh, guys like Bo Diddley. Uh, Bob Stroger, Pine Top Perkins, uh, who else is he? Oh, just just a whole lot of uh, well-known acts. He said he said that his biggest thing would be to do something with BB uh, King. That would be the ultimate dream, but unfortunately that hasn't happened yet. But he's got a chance to work with other acts, and I think that's really cool. So I'm gonna play you a couple songs off uh, his DVD uh, that he made. And I believe that will be in widescreen, I believe, anyway. As far as I know. <laughs> Should be, anyway. And, uh, yeah, enjoy it. And that will be today's video. Tomorrow we will have... Well, tomorrow night, sometime tomorrow, anyway. I'll have footage from, uh, you know, pretty much all day's events from Friday. So, anyway, I'm Frank Slauson. Enjoy today's video. Enjoy some Little Bobby. Time for some blues. I'm Frankie Slauson. We'll see ya tomorrow for another great daily summer vlog. Bye-bye.